with some beautiful pictures of uh, Aarhus Harbour, the uh, old fire station and the clock tower in the uh, downtown of Aarhus. A very warm welcome here to the uh, 2021 Total Energies Thomas and Ubercock Finals, the World Championships for men's and women's team. It's day four of uh, competition here in uh, Denmark who for the first time plays host to uh, these prestigious championships. Each of the Thomas and Ubercock tournament is uh, contested by 16 teams from uh, all over the globe as you can see all five continents uh, represented in uh, this uh, tournament and uh, tonight we uh, focus on the uh, Thomas Cup uh, tournament the men's world team championship as you can see here the uh, tournament is divided into two stages a group stage that runs through day one to six uh, as uh, regards to uh, Thomas Cup and then uh, after the group stage there's a uh, knockout draw and uh, from quarterfinals and onwards it's uh, knockout uh, team ties until we reach the final on Sunday. So here is uh, the uh, group draw. All the uh, teams on top of these groups are seeded and uh, they play round robin in uh, all four groups and the two best teams in each group goes on to the knockout stage. You can see there's only 15 teams and that's because England originally was drawn in uh, Group D but had to withdraw ahead of the tournament. So this is uh, what happened earlier today here in uh, Sears Arena. India defeated Scotland and Japan defeated Indonesia, both team ties in the uh, Uber Cup tournament. Tonight we're focusing on Group D with uh, the tie between Malaysia and uh, Canada. So here is the uh, Malaysian team huddle. Big uh, traditions in uh, Thomas Cup has uh, Malaysia. So, um, the Malaysian and Canadian flag flying high over Sears Sports Park as the night has fallen here in um, Denmark. Here is the uh, order of play for uh, this um, evening session match between uh, Malaysia and Canada. We start out with first men's singles. That's Lee Shija, the reigning All England champion. And he's up against the Pan American champion, the youngster Brian Yang. Second men singles, Cham Jun Wei up against uh, Jason Hu Shu, who uh, is the uh, runner up at the Pan American Championships. Then Eun Se Yong up against uh, Sang Kiet. In the men's doubles, uh, Malaysia have uh, shuffled their pairings a little bit. Uh, the uh, Olympic bronze medalist So and Cha featuring uh, each of um, their new pairings, they're up against Sharon and Tetro. That's the second men's double, and we uh, finish with the first men's double with uh, B.R. Sankirt and uh, Neil Yakura up against Cha and uh, Go Si Fei. So uh, here is uh, the uh, matchup in uh, men's single, the Shi Jia and uh, Brian Yang, two of uh, the newcomers on the uh, world tour, so to speak. Of course, uh, Li Xi Jia, uh, a bit further ahead in his development uh, than Brian Yang, but um, the Canadian youngster has uh, really impressed uh, here in uh, this week's tournament, as he did in uh, the Sudirman Cup. Uh, one actually two weeks ago in um, in Finland but uh, Ishija, yeah, the Malaysian uh, hopes rides on uh, his shoulders and uh, so far he uh, has lived up to the bill led the uh, Malaysians to uh, a bronze medal a very unexpected bronze medal in the Sudirman Cup in Vanta Finland two weeks ago and um, 
Yeah, he's no doubt out to uh, to lead his charges again. And uh, here he comes, the old England champion. Seemed uh, quite confident and uh, very calm and collected, but uh, as he makes his way on court, I can see that there's a big, big strapping on his um, right knee there. Hopefully just a uh, precaution. Uh, Malaysia's uh, first match in the, the Thomas Cup campaign. The last group in the team was uh, uh, in the uh, the last team in the group was uh, Japan that um, defeated Canada 4-1 in the uh, first match of this group. All England's matches is uh, of course uh, voided. So two out of the three teams certain to uh, progress to the quarterfinal and uh, for Canada it's a must win today if they want to have a chance of uh, playing in the knockout stage uh, Malaysia the heavy favorites though in my opinion in uh, these matchups black is the top it is black so good okay so uh, Li Shijia leading the head-to-head, uh, -head. one nothing. As um, you can see there, he also won the uh, coin toss. I don't know if that's significant in any way. I don't think it is. And he uh, elected to serve. Wan Yang has stayed on uh, this near side of the court. And when I said that uh, Canada lost 4-1 to uh, Japan, who were the uh, runners-up in 2018 in uh, Thailand, it was because uh, Brian Yang defeated Kanta Suniyama in the first men's singles. Here is the profile for Lee Si Jia. He's from uh, Alosita in uh, Kedah, 23 years of age, and uh, currently ranked uh, eight in uh, the world. Um, the world rankings take that with a grain of salt as um, it's not really uh, working the way it uh, was before the uh, pandemic. Here is Brian Yang, 19 years of age, only from um, Richmond Hill in um, Toronto area. He is at the highest ranking of um, 39 at the moment. And uh, our umpire Kevin Ban from uh, United States. Service judge is uh, Henry Boas from uh, Denmark. Uh, yeah, of course, the biggest win in uh, Lee Si Jia's career. The All England, he uh, sort of uh, warned everybody last year in 2020 when he uh, lost the final to uh, Victor Axelsen, but um, this year he turned the table on uh, the Tall Dane and uh, won the All England Championship. Very comforting for Malaysia, who was looking for the um, successor after Li Chung Wei uh, called time on Ready his fantastic uh, career. Both of them uh, competed at the uh, Tokyo Olympics. Uh, Li Zijia won his uh, group and then lost to uh, the eventual finalists and silver medalist Chen Long whilst then um, Brian Yang lost both his matches in the group, but uh, gave us some uh, tastes of uh, what was to come when he uh, stretched Cho Chin Chen all the way in uh, three games in a thrilling match. Uh, if you haven't seen it, then it's really worth uh, watching again. Sure, it's I'm actually not sure it's um, available on uh, YouTube as uh, most of the BWF matches are. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Malaysia, represented by Lee Zi Jiang. And on my left, Canada, represented by Brian Yang. Malaysia to serve, Laval, Clay.
So the match is underway. There you can see the uh, strapping on the right knee of uh, AC Chuck. This is um, the first um, team tie for Malaysia. There's been a chance for them to um, get a little bit of uh, tougher practice in than you normally would do if you would play every day or every second day arrived from um, Finland approximately a week ago. This is the, the first time they see action over the week. Oi. Good interception there by uh, DC Jar. Broke his um, string while uh, killing that uh, lift from Brian Yang. It's interesting to see how um, Li Shijia goes about his business in this match because um, he has been warned now in uh, Suleiman Cup. Brian Yang defeated Jonathan Christie after trailing significantly, losing the first game and trailing. Uh, a big, big deficit in the second game, but still came back to um, to win it. So, um, Shija knows that um, he's dangerous, the uh, Canadian youngster. It's also, in, at least for me, it's already raised the expectations to Brian Yang, whereas um, before um, the German Cup, at least before the Olympics, I would say, okay, this is, an, this is a match with uh, Li Shijia, is a very, very big favorite. Here's the first challenge. But the uh, matches, the way he's played, uh, has raised the expectations, and I expect a much more even match no doubt about it, Li Shijia is, uh, is still the favorite. But I'm expecting more from uh, Brian Yang. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. I'm expecting him to do better challenges. Six, three. Play. And first hand. Canadian coach Mike Butler. He also played uh, yesterday in the Yuba Cup, uh, Malaysia and Canada. And um, Canada sprung a little surprise and took a 4-1 uh, win, even without uh, their superstar, Michel Lee. Who unfortunately uh, had to withdraw after the first match in this tournament. So, this the uh, Canadian men's team is uh, dreaming of doing the same. It's going to be a much diffi more difficult task. Oh, that's well played. That little uh, cross net drop there was efficient. get the replay but uh, it's very very efficient to play back cross if you uh, are replying to uh, a drop from the uh, 
back of the court. If you were with us yesterday in the, the match between Denmark and Germany, you might have seen uh, Fabian Roth be fairly successful against uh, Rasmus Gimke in uh, using those shots. So for the first time, uh, Brian Yang ahead in the match. That's a fantastic smash from uh, Lucy Cha. Playing conditions here in uh, Aarhus uh, should um, suit the All England champion quite well. The hole is. Um, Pretty good, good size for badminton, uh, but the shuttles are a little bit to the uh, slow side. As we see this reverse slice, twist the grip just in uh, the nick of time before he uh, hits the shuttle and uh, his arm shows a straight shot past. Shuttle is sliced cross court. Nine seven. Uh, missed it. In a run, a run of uh, five straight points, he uh, takes the lead here at the mid-game interval, 11-7. when he uh, hit the last shot. That happens when you uh, fear the opponent will uh, get your shot back. Um, some players tend to go a little bit um, sharper for the lines to uh, score the points. I think that's a really good shot from uh, Brian Yang in the reverse slice there. Look at this. Lucy John was headed in another direction. I think the uh, appropriate way to uh, handle it is to be more patient, to play one more uh, controlling or directing shot than you're used to, following up.
So now five straight points for Brian Yang after the uh, mid-game interval. Make that six. 13, 11. And it's just wonderful to pick up uh, easy points in these playing conditions here. to make sure it uh, doesn't uh, go long over the back line, Li Shijia. It's going wide. Good support for Malaysia. sides of the net. Yeah, there's the cross net again from uh, Brian Yang. Excellent play. There's the Makura there with the uh, horn to uh, support Brian Yang. It's early that he's come to the hall, but um, when the players appreciate that um, you can be part of a team and uh, support their compatriots. Excellent play by Lisi Jack. It's a lot of angle on the uh, final shot. Deception from uh, Li Zhijia, trying to pretend as it was going to be a really hard smash, but uh, in the end he wins it anyway by uh, a little luck from the net court. A great rally that was. He's having to uh, work hard to uh, score on uh, Brian Yang. As Li uh, Zhijia. One of the things I like uh, about the Canadian. Good shot. Excellent play. Quick on his feet there. Yang. Who's an avid um, NBA fan. Loves to play uh, video games and especially uh, NBA Live. And. Uh, 
Takes a lot of inspiration from a quote from Michael Jordan telling how he's missed over 9,000 shots in his career. And uh, there's a bit more to the quote, but uh, the moral is that uh, he's succeeding through failure, okay. learning from failure, and thus eventually getting uh, close to perfect. It's not the worst of quotes to be inspired by, in my opinion. Oh, he's controlling it, uh, Brian Yang there. That rally. Really nice. Net game. shot from uh, Lee Si the reply on that uh, cross smash from Yang. Very, very difficult to keep it straight. Come, here it comes. That shot there to uh, play that uh, straight long with high quality. That's what earned him the point. Kristen Tsai supporting the Canadian women's double. Do you? Lisa Jart, player on player, ban from uh, the US. Let's see that again from the net cam. Yeah, that's correct. Took it uh, on the uh, Canadian side of the net. That's not allowed. Good work by. Uh, Empire. It's not always easy to uh, judge these uh, situations. So, uh, game point opportunities for the All England champion. Challenging uh, Brian Yang to do something to be creative, and um, I guess this was what um, he was looking for, Lisi Jump, for the Canadian to uh, make a mistake. And the Wigan champion takes the first game 21 18.
So Coach Henderman using all of his uh, a lot of time with uh, Lucy John here. Oh, uh, performed well in the first game. Uh, The uh, change of pace when uh, it was needed, and uh, definitely the uh, firepower to uh, put it away, even in the uh, slow playing conditions here. He also had some good match practice two weeks ago in the Eastern German Cup when he first lost to Kenta Momota, then beat Johnny Toyerson from England, and then beat Momota again in the uh, Late stage of uh, the tournament also beat Anthony Ginting, so um, at least three really good matches uh, in the legs there. I must say I'm uh, a little bit in the dark as to uh, what I feel about that shot. Here we see what Hawkeye says. It was indeed out. And um, a good start for the Malaysian here in the uh, second game where I feel that uh, Brian Yang has some um, Trouble uh, scoring on uh, Lee Sija. Wait, that's good retrieval, and he really sacrifices himself, uh, Lee Sija, there. Floor level and uh, giving everything there is sets a good example for the rest of the team. for this feature.
Arsenal wide. He's playing really, really good, solid, uh, basic game, solid defense. Lee Si Jia making things hard for uh, Brian Yang. title this jar he defeated the uh, two-time world champion Kenta Momota in the uh, quarterfinal on road to uh, the win and uh, he played brilliant net game there as well as um, attack and I think you could easily see a battle for the net here in uh, this match Too short, and immediately uh, Li Shijia comes in with his uh, big attack. Emilia Kura is uh, puzzled as to what's going on here. Fantastic attack. With so much angle on it, it's both powerful and angled. Line because if it's a little bit too short, DC Jar is there ready to uh, pounce on it. I do feel that uh, the only uh, way for him forward is to play a little bit longer rallies, be more patient, and see if he can get some variation into his attack. Maybe the first attack does not have to be the start of um, a winning attack. He could go back and play rally style, so to speak, within the rallies. There was a crush match that's important with variation for the Canadian. And he misses that one again. That's uh, that's uh, hurting him a lot that he uh, can't hit those uh, smash down the line. Here it comes again. Fourth time, as far as I've counted, that he's uh, put that wide. And 11-4 uh, lead to uh, Lee Si Chao. Here at the mid game interval. Now this was where things started to go uh, Avery for uh, Jonathan Christie in uh, Vanta at the Sudirman Cup. He was in a big lead in control of the match and then I think he uh, let his guard down and uh, suddenly he uh, was struggling and Brian Yang took over.
against the net game by Lisa Jar, but um, there was the long rally. I think he broke a string, so he had to go hard for the tight spin in that shot. Yen, who uh, was in Dubai practicing with the Olympic champion uh, Victor Axelsen together with uh, a bunch of other players that uh, had the opportunity to uh, take some uh, weeks out of uh, their normal practice plan and uh, go to Dubai and uh, practice with Axelsen Toby Penty from England, uh, Lakshya Sen was there from uh, India and so on. And uh, that's of course uh, invaluable for uh, a player trying to make his way into uh, the top of uh, the world in badminton to uh, be able to spar with uh, the Olympic champion. down his guard so far, Lee Sija. That's a good shot. If he gets a couple of more dose away, Brian Yang, then the uh, pressure on the straight one he might ease a little bit in terms of Sija having to respect the uh, possibility for a cross. I see numerous players at a little bit of a lower level standing uh, pretty much at the middle when uh, even if their opponent smashed straight 19 out of 20 times they don't move a little bit to uh, the side to cover it because what if it's suddenly a cross but it never is and uh, that's when you have to uh, open the top players because they do that they over cover the most likely Return from uh, their opponent. That was out from the doubles line there. The lift from uh, Lisa Jump once in a while. The shot is totally off. And then Everything. And now I think um, 11, Lishi Jha needs to um, really invest in the uh, coming uh, rallies here. Because there's been some points where Bai Yang hadn't had to work um, as hard to score his points as previously. That's well played. Just uh, maintaining uh, the big lead. Beautiful smash from uh, Lishi Cha. I really love his um, smash movement with the arm. Getting a lot of uh, angle on uh, a smash that's already hard.
Again. So we reached match points. Eight of them for Lisa Cha, who's uh, in total control here in the uh, second game. It's been very difficult for Brian Yang to uh, set himself up for scoring a point. Lots of mistakes on the uh, lines from the Canadian. I feel that thanks to the strong defense of uh, Lee Sicha, that's called in. If it could have been closer, Lee Sicha probably would have challenged it to get a second opinion. It's gone wide, and uh, Li Shijia puts Malaysia up 1-0, just as uh, they would have expected, just as they would have hoped for. He did it in a convincing fashion, in uh, my opinion. Excellent performance by the uh, All England champion, who was rock solid in uh, the defence, and showed that he still has the attack to penetrate the defense of uh, Brian Yang. Who did well, he just couldn't really uh, open up uh, Lee Sija and uh, I think that got to him. That uh, it was difficult to score in um, these conditions. Yeah, support from the, the Malaysian team. And here's the scoreline. 21-18, 21-13. Last rally. Just wide of the uh, right side line, the cross net shot from uh, Brian Yang. So, next match uh, coming up here after some highlights from this first men's single is second men's single in the match between uh, Malaysia and Canada. It's uh, Jun Wei Chan against Jason Anthony Oshu.
so um, serious sports park uh, in the sundown here at the football stadium cycling track and in the middle of it all serious arena hospitality uh, tents in front of uh, the arena here perfect um, set up for these Thomas and uh, Cup finals in uh, Aarhus 